Yeah, uh, no, you're not gonna charge us. Fuck you. Alright, Carl's looking great. Looking beautiful, as always, as always. When is he not? I mean, come on. Let's be honest. Okay, so this general's bodyguard is really trying to cut us apart. Come on, boys. Get away, get away, get away. Yes, I want them to shoot and run. Shoot and run. Let's go. Okay, our archers are taking heavy casualties. To be expected, they're skirmishers. That's what they're supposed to do. And now... They shall meet their demise, these archers of the Red Keep. Not a very powerful charge, but then again, not a very powerful cavalry unit. My lord, only half of our force remains. Hmm. I don't know. At this point, I don't think we're going to make it through this battle. Unless we kill off their general, which... He's still alive. Come on, guys. Gotta get away from this scumbag. Oh my gosh, taking the hits. Racing in, charging in, let's go. <laughs> Friendly fire. Alright, you guys deal with the general. I'll deal with the rest of the men. You know, I wish there was a way to recruit or retrain the Dothraki Cav. I mean, it's to be more of a a role play or a something like that kind of thing, but just to simulate that you can't go back to Essos. But it's like, well, I kind of would like to just to retrain all these silver and gold gold chevron units. It would be it be it be nice. You know, it'd be, it'd be good. It'd be good. Well, now we got a decent charge off of them. Come on, guys, kill this bastard. Alright, it's not working. Let's get out of here, boys. Shoot him like usual. Well, that's not killing him yet.
Right through the little mini gap. Jeez, our men are so outnumbered right now. This is ridiculous. Where the hell did that one general go? Interesting turn of events, I have to say. We're so close, guys. Come on, we can do this. Come on, Call. I know that you're. Your command skills are great. You can break through this blockade. We need to take Storm's End. If we take it, then we have a great standpoint from which we can win this war. Oh, they're breaking. They're breaking. Come on. Come on. Let's go for a dual charge. Yes! As soon as we killed the general, their morale snapped like a twig. Oh jeez. That was that was a long battle and there's not very men not very much of our men left. That was Elmar Thorn. Part of the Thornberry group. Creepers, creepers. Those guys, those generals I made, I obviously put them on steroids because they didn't want to get killed that easy. Come on, guys, we need to get 90%. That's good enough. Good enough, damn it. Get your GED. Good enough, damn it. Good deal. Well, we killed a brother of the king, and we also killed a long, long distant relation, Sir Elmar Thorn of King's Landing or the Crown Lands, whichever you'd prefer. So we only had to kill 808, otherwise, we captured the majority after that. That which we've lost quite a few men. Quite, quite a few men were lost in this battle. And it was a savage one indeed. I honestly thought we were gonna lose. Let's be honest, towards the end there it was seeming like things were perking up a bit. Yeah, we got money. Oh my gosh. Daenerys, I need you to lead the charge, baby. Alright? Uh, let's see. Edric isn't that great at that. Alright. John, I want you to stay behind and guard Griffin's Roost. Aegon, I want you to go for this. No, it's just a lot of levies. It's just a lot of spearmen. Some crossbows. There's two things of knights. I have two things of knights. Lots of cell swords. Some bows. You know what? I'm just going to fight this fucking battle because we're going to win. I know we're going to win. And then Daenerys is going to take the other army out. And Storm's End shall be ours in the next episode. Give or take a couple hundred heads roll. Whether whether or not uh, Daenerys at this time is uh, appreciative of their service. And you know what the service is? Oh, you know what it is. It's to die. That's what it is. You know what? 
let's just do that. Well, maybe I should outfit uh, Aegon's army with a little bit of uh, knight action. I mean, his his personal bodyguard look great. Don't get me wrong, but there's always room for improvement. And this is where the dominoes fall. Holy shit. Alright. So we held fire just in time to get rid of some of these damned crossbows. Not a sing- Oh, oh, we lost one, we lost one. I repeat, man down, man down. Ten percent. We've killed over ten percent of their men. Well, this is going to be interesting. I thought they broke immediately. That would have been something. And the end of the Third Reich Jaws near. Let me just help out with those uh, crossbowmen, eh? Hey, Hedge Knights, how's it going? Alright, you guys dealing with those. Got those guys surrounded. Only half the enemy force remains. All right. Just gonna speed it up. It's pretty much a wrap on this battle. I mean, there's nothing left. These guys are surrounded. They're breaking. They're fighting to the death. That's really it. And now, moment which you've all been waiting for, the end of the battle. And only Aegon Blackfire could have accomplished such a victory. Outnumbered 40 to 1. Just as Khal Drogo was earlier. <laughs> Not really. Oh, dear lord. Why do you keep paying me this money to do this? How dare you? Should have just said no. Like, fuck you, I'm gonna kill your men. Just because. I could give her some more cav. She's got plenty of cav, actually. She needs another thing of infantry. Hmm. This next bit is an interesting strategy question. For there are quite a few cavalrymen that they have at their disposal. And we unfortunately do not. So we're going to be getting some money next turn, hopefully. 
Hopefully, maybe. Well, Roger's here. We might need to have a distraction or something at Haystack Hall or something like that. I don't know. We need something to distract people. Jeez. Okay. Alright, we're going to take a look. This is still under enemy control. We could still take it. The Mud Bros are going in with all their cav. Alright, we're going in like this. We don't have very many men. But we're still going to give it a shot. Stokeworth, I want him and his army to move towards us. We need, we still need uh, quite a few men in the uh, in the Stormlands. We we don't even have it close to under wraps under wraps yet. And I would like Sir Gerald to build a watchtower over here. Perhaps a little closer. Here's Ori's Lannister, the long distant relations with House Baratheon. Robert Clegane, Roger's son. And, uh, yeah. Were it not for Ori's, I would try and march out and take Hayford. And also, we're kind of low on money, so I can't. But what I can do is, uh, tell you all a great tale. Why do I have random ships? Let's get rid of those silly things. Who needs ships? Don't need no stinking ships, precious. No stinking ships. Edwin. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to have to leave it right here because the next move is for Daenerys to move in and I need her to move in right about there. We need to... Oh, shit. That's not going to happen. Yeah, that's, that's going to happen. Okay, well that happened. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now if we hit this army with Aegon, they're just gonna repel us. I need to get this army with Viserys to take Storm's End stat. So we're gonna end the turn, we're gonna see where it leaves us for the next turn's setup. I forgot to besiege something like Haystack Hall or whatever. Thankfully the AI has decided uh, better pastures are on the horizon rather than trying to take back what's theirs. So good for us. Sure. We will trade with you for now, you sons of guns. Only for now. Alright, so Lord... Stonehelm, Stone Dance, Sow's Horn. Kind of matches uh, Sir Dantos, the Sow's Horn. <laughs> you bastard, you. We could get some Crown Landers. That'd be pretty cool. If we had any money. Now, I thought we were going to get some money last turn. What was this? So we have Robert, Clegane, Illin Payne, Barristan Selmy, and Ori's Lannister with quite a big, quite a big army. Oh jeez, this is kind of a drag. 
We're gonna take this place though. You know what? I gotta I gotta end it here. It's probably too long already. I'll continue in the next bit because I'm excited. Even though it's two in the morning now, I am still ready to keep playing. So for those of you who are watching episode number four, it's just a continuation, but it'll probably go from two to two thirty ish in the morning. So Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Barry Knight out.